The reason Las Vegas is able to be so lush and green today is because of what happened here in the 1930s, when thousands of workers from across America flocked to Southern Nevada to build this, the Hoover Dam. It lies just 25 miles east of the Strip. If you were to peer down on this stretch of the Colorado River in the 1930s, you would have seen an army of workers below. They drilled holes for more than 8 million pounds of dynamite, carved 8 miles of tunnels through the canyon's walls, and poured more concrete than had ever been poured on a single construction project anywhere in the world. Close to 100 men died building the Hoover Dam, but it's still considered one of America's greatest engineering achievements. The mission of the dam was to generate hydroelectric power, control flooding in the Colorado River, and to provide water for irrigation. Once it was completed, the valley started filling up with the water that is now known as Lake Mead. Today, it's a popular recreation area for residents of Las Vegas, a welcome, watery oasis in a desert land. But this lake is also what enables Las Vegas to survive. In the 1950s, pipelines started carrying water from Lake Mead into the Las Vegas Valley. And with a plentiful and new source of water, the valley's population could continue to grow. Today, there are two million residents in Clark County seven times the number that lived here in 1970. And 90% of the water they use comes from Lake Mead. After water gets sucked out of the lake, it's disinfected here before being pumped into the valley. But much of the water that's consumed inside homes and businesses in Las Vegas gets directed back to water treatment plants and is then used again. This stream is actually wastewater from across the valley. It's making its journey back to Lake Mead. As it does, millions of gallons of water are being pumped back out of the lake 24-7 to keep Las Vegas alive for another day.